All right, here it is, finally, the Unrustable Bastards, or the Unrustables, if you bought them at retail. Review, these are the three models that we've got here. You've got the Spectre Rogues uh, here in the white. You've got the Otomo, based on Akira, well, over here in red, and then the main Unrustable right here. Now, he's got the small burly head on his driver. Uh, you get two configurations with the main Unrustable, and then there are all the various online stores. Each have their own uh, exclusive version uh, with different faces for both the smaller robots and the larger robots. Or the, you know, the combined mechs. And what you're seeing here is, these are the, th the three versions of the head that you get. Like, here's the Burly. He's got the little cigar in his mouth uh, here on his head. Let me go ahead and bring him up up here. Let's go through these real quick. So there's Burley with his cigar and his scowl uh, right there on on that one. Uh, and then they all come with all of all of them include. The, you know, he's got the Burley head. All three of these come with this uh, visor face plated head in their in their respective colors: the red on Otomo, uh, the black and silver on the main run, main bastard and then the gr light gray on the specter rogue but so you you get this version of the head with all the versions um and then some of them have other ones like i said he's got burly and the specter rogue comes with the visored head as well as this uh skeleton faceplate rider which is pretty cool the bikes themselves are all exactly the same um with, again, some minor decos, like this has no decos. This one's actually fairly plain, and we'll get to that uh, shortly. Uh, the Unrustable logo here on the hood of this one, and then the Unrustable logo with the Specter Rogue spray painted, uh, logo painted over it. Um, they all come with individual weapons. Um, in this case, um, we'll go, we'll go uh, here, Otomo, comes with a big sword that can be a, a clip on up here, and as well as be used by the larger robot and then a smaller gun slash kind of samurai flag looking thing on one side and the smaller sword for the smaller driver as well. Uh, and those can store back here on these little pegs. The main unrustable comes with uh, two small pistols for the rider that can again peg onto each side. Two larger guns that can be held by the, the larger robot. Again, there's clips on either side here. Um, a chainsaw weapon, which can be held by the larger robot and these smaller pistols, which we'll see uh, later on in the video. And then the Spectre Rogue comes with this larger rifle cannon. Very, the, the, the end of it really looks like a uh, prime Zion cannon is kind of how I think about it. In gray, uh, he comes with uh, his, up oh, knocked his head back, um, shotguns versus pistols on either side of his vehicle. Although you could wield, you could swap them around and have them wield both. Um, and then on his vehicle himself, they got the larger cannon. You've got a larger spinny saw weapon, which is pretty cool. Um, an axe. And again, all these can clip on. See, there's the clip right there. I guess that can be a weapon on here, on this side. But an axe the larger robot can hold. And then uh, a scythe for the smaller pilot robot. And again, that can, if you want to, you can have that plug in right here and store on the bike in, you know, angled however you want, but those are the things. So we'll go ahead and transform them uh, before, well, actually, real quick before we do, like I said, you'll notice the, the Akira-based bike is, uh, is fairly plain, and he does come with a full, Atomo here, he does come with a full sheet of stickers. And um, so you can customize it, he has the, the pills and everything, a smaller pill for the rider, some little, logos and uh and things like that now if you look closely at these and some and, and, and like you know, there's like the s word and wanker and, and, and you know some 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 rude words on these like uh a lot of people so not, not a lot of people i saw some people getting offended by that and, and i understand that um i do uh totally understand that because it wasn't listed or mentioned as such in the original listing it was just that it was going to come with some stickers to complete it um but i feel like there are enough stickers here that don't feature that kind of thing that you could uh that you can do a, a decent 
customization or, or angle these into that they, they are in such a, an, an odd font in several cases that you put them on upside down or a different angle and maybe you don't see them although like looking at this there's a lot more than i thought but um but you do get a pretty decent ring and like i said i understand the uh the people who are upset by it at the same time like this is their product and they're allowed to do whatever they want um, and I think they do give you enough options there without having to use any inappropriate language words that it, it's really up to you. Um, but anyway, I'm not putting the stickers on in between the video. Um, I do have the purple one coming uh, as well. They did a very limited uh, run of these that's coming in the test shot colors, which was like purple with a translucent blue or transparent blue. Uh, plastic. Uh, I did order one of those, so when it gets here, uh, sometime between now and its arrival, I will have stickered this up and we'll show off the st fully stickered Otomo in that video as well. But in Transformer, we're going to focus on just the main bastard. They all transform, like the weapons are different, but all the figures and everything transforms exactly the same. So we're just going to do it on this one, and then we'll do uh, a full comparison with everything uh, once we get it all back and around. All right, so right off the bat, a little bit about the motorcycle itself here. Like I said, you got the weapons clipped on up here. And when you have it transformed correctly, it rolls freely when it's in an upright position. And it's slung low enough that like it, it doesn't really tilt to one side or whatever. Uh, it, it leans a little bit to one side or the other. But the way it's built, it, it kind of supports itself in, in, a, in a mostly upright position. If you, if you have, uh, if, if your transformation, if you end up with the wheels down a little lower, like the, the lower you pull the wheels down, and you do have a little bit of options there depending on how far you wish to pull it back and with the foot here. Um, it can sit a little higher, which does give it more clearance to roll, but it also causes it to tilt a little bit more to the side. However, because of the way the hands are under here, you can actually flip the thumbs down, I found, and use them as kind of a kickstand. Again, if you have it all, if you have everything pushed up the way it should, it should sit mostly flat anyway. Um, while still being able to roll freely if you put it in a fully upright position. But uh, just FYI. So let's look at the rider himself. We'll go ahead and pop Burley off of here. Uh, slide his hands off the handlebars. And what you've got here in the smaller figure is a very poseable figure. He's got a ball joint for a neck, ball joint to the shoulders, as well as a swivel uh, uh, in, in the shoulder itself. Bicep swivel, dual hinged elbows. A wrist swivel, uh, solid hands. He's got an ab crunch, a waist swivel, ball joint hips, thigh swivel, dual hinge knees, and then a ball joint at the foot. So they're pretty solid when you stand them up, as well as uh, very poseable. They can they have no problem once you get them plugged in and sitting on their bike, grabbing the handlebars and sitting in a relaxed position. You can get them in a lot of cool action poses here in uh, individual mode. You can arm them with the small pistols or, in the case of a Tomo and the Spectre Rogue, the small shotguns or swords or whatever. And they can, uh, you get two of them, one on each side here. And, the, and by themselves, they're pretty neat little figures. And again, you've got the personality, you can swap the heads out. I like that they did, like, a, a bunch of retailers got different versions. Like, with the basic one, you get Burly and I ride heads. You get both their face-plated mech heads... Their standard mech heads, and then their individual heads for their individual characters. So even if you like to troop build, you've got some options in how you put them together. And even with just the two characters, there's all sorts of pieces you can swap around. Like they have different leg plates here that come off uh, and can be customized. And again, we'll show you Burley and I ride together here uh, later in the video. But there's one has vents. The Spectre Rogues have just uh, come with just a flat solid white one uh, tomo comes with one with a line running through it you can, and you can get a pack that comes with uh individual heads and individual specters if you just want the smaller figure um and comes with more of these different uh comes with more weapons and more little uh leg detailing so you can really kind of mix and match and customize whatever and then like i said each the several online retailers each have their own version with a small i think they all come with the burly and i ride heads and then each online retailer has a different character with a different small head for the prospect, um, or for, for the for the rider, um, and then 
different heads for the uh, the mech as well, which is really kind of a cool idea. So you can really you, you get a couple of a uh, couple of even just the base character in one of those packs, and you've got a whole bunch of combinations. And then on to the bike itself, uh, it rolls nicely. Um, I like the wheels. They did make it get a little bit of asymmetry in, in the mech mode. Uh, so the wheels faced the same direction in bike mode, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and we'll go ahead and pop these off. Uh, these can, you, you, they can get in the way, but they can stay attached in mech mode. You can leave these uh, or store them back here clipped onto the back. But uh, we'll go ahead and take those longer guns off. Now, one thing to notice that while there is uh, some symmetry here in the lower half, the legs and the wheels, and you can transform it the opposite direction, there is a proper way to twist the waist because you'll notice up here, this black part is smooth. Whereas back here, it's actually got a couple little tabs uh, for the arms. And as we start to transform it, you'll see it and I'll point those out. So to start transforming, you just untab the, the side of the arm from right here uh, untap it from right here and then pull it out from the side of the body and here's those slots you can see this is the same piece on front and back but the back one does have these little slots that the arm tabs into so you want to make sure that that this leg comes around to the back otherwise the legs are symmetrical and like i said if you mess up you can transform it with these in the front but there you go bring the arm out and this whole assembly comes up and around i'll lift the windshield up like that, as well as this ab piece. And here's where you can see the symmetry, because like in this piece, the foot lifts up for the seat to plug into it, and in the front, the foot folds down. But uh, you can, again, either way, they can go up like that. You can see how these are basically the same piece. But flip these down and around, and flip the foot forward. These were designed by Cassie Stark, or Cassie Sark, uh, and then you'll, and you'll notice that this little uh, thigh piece, I think, is a very Cassie uh, design element. I, and you can kind of see it. If you know that he did Feral Rex, and he's actually done a lot of different products for a lot of different uh, companies uh, over the years. But uh, there, there, there's just something about this that definitely has that Cassie feel to it. So, uh, so yeah, so there's the legs. We'll come up here a little higher. You can see the uh, unrustable patch that came there. I've got it. It's very, it's just loosely taped to the backdrop, so if it falls, that's why. I've just got a tiny little piece of, like a little loop of tape back there. I figured it'd just be fun to have in the background, but it's, it's a nice little fabric patch uh, that's just taped up here on the wall. So we come up here on the upper half, bring this down, bring the arm up, because you want to bring the windscreen around to the back, rotate this torso piece around to the back, but then this little ab piece right here uh, is on a separate piece, and you want to bring that around to the front. Bring the arms down. Take the hand, flip it out, fold this around, bring the arm back up, and that will sit underneath the arm, and then bring this little armor panel up. These are on ball joints, and you can position them however. You can also pop these out, and apparently these are their, their energy packs, and they can throw them as grenades. Uh, I just learned that the other day. But uh, I'm going to pose the fingers. Do the same on this side. Come around back here. Now it helps, you can have these handlebars go whichever way you want. You can have them in their bike mode and they'll still fit behind the head, but I think that looks a little better if you uh, rotate it around like this and bring his mech head up like that. And then uh, this little, the, the seat piece goes up here and then into the windscreen behind the head. You want that to come up through there. And there is, if you flip the ab panel up, there is the basic mech mode, but you'll see he's, he's got a big empty torso. And that was one of the things that surprised me when I first uh, got one of these to mess with. Because even seeing them on display at conventions, I didn't pull them apart, is just how much of the actual mech's torso the, uh, the small guys form. I thought they were just going to be like little chest plates. And that's not the case. Like the whole inner body of this mech is is hollow here. So, but there's the base mech, and then we'll take the rider, and we just fold his head back. You can; it still works if you turn it around like this. If you don't want their head exposed, but 
officially the head just tilts back like that with their face facing upwards. Uh, bring the arms around to the back and then just fold these up behind them. You'll see there's a peg hole right here. That's going to go on the peg in the middle here, which we'll get to in a minute. And then on the lower half, rotate the body at the waist. Lift this up. Bring the ball joint up here. So it's like this. And then fold this down. And you want to fold it at both hinges because there's a tab on each side of the leg. One side is going to tab into the torso. And the other side is going to go into the slot here on the leg. So bring this up so that slot fits in. And then bring this up and tab it into the torso like that. And do the same on this side. So it slots in, tab it in. Oh, come on, tab it in. There we go. And then bring the feet flat and around like that so you're staring at the heels here in the front. And then you turn it around. There's a peg here in the middle, peg hole in the middle of the prospect, and then on each leg, and that's going to go on the three pegs here in this armature. So you take it, fold this abdomen piece down, line it up, and plug it in, and then plug the legs on on either side, like that. Fold it down, uh, the abdomen piece comes up, and kind of there's a couple little tabs on here that go into the heels. I don't know why this isn't folded all the way forward, there we go. that and then there's a peg here underneath the uh, mech head that pegs into the hole in the neck here so you just gonna line that up and peg it all together and there is your bastard in his full transformed mode now again this is burly this is his faceplate head uh, with the skull painted on it. And it doesn't look exactly like the hand-painted prototype, but that's because of the hand-painted prototype wasn't exactly that. Um, but it does match the, 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 the picture they showed on the, uh, the tampo they showed on their Kickstarter page. It, it would have been nice if it looked as cool as the hand-painted one did, but I get it, you know, like, that's just, just the nature of the beast. So, posability-wise, they're still just pretty awesome here. Like one, you, like I said, the small guns can still store on the back here. Uh, on the other ones, you may need to rotate the weapons as you transform it, but the small pistols can stay pegged in here. You still have the clips on the back, so if you want to store the weapons that you had in bike mode back here, uh, you can. You can also leave them clipped in and kind of flip them around through the shoulders like this. Um, yeah, you can have it clipped in there. Uh, this the, the longer ones are a little harder to do that with unless you get the arms really down out of the way. But yeah, you see how you have that clipped in and pass, pass through there. Like that, um, the smaller pistols work a little better for that. The handles uh, can just peg in to the fingers, and the fingers are all articulated. They've got hinge there and a hinge there, and then I think two hinges on each finger, which is nice. And then the weapons actually peg in whether you hold them above and there's two peg holes one on top and one on bottom and you'll see why here in a second you can wrap that around and give him that weapon uh, you can adjust the mirrors however you like here on uh, whether you want them up you can have them up behind the head you can fold them down around here you can slide them out a little bit more on the handle however you want so you've got a ball joint at the neck which gives him a huge range of motion in the head you can look up and down side to side uh, ball joints at the shoulders, as well as the hinge here. Bicep swivel, dual hinge elbows are pretty much just as poseable as the smaller figure, aside from also having a ball joint at the wrist here, as well as an up and down hinge at the wrist, which is really nice, especially for a Tomo with the sword. And then the dual hinged or dual pinned fingers. Um, you got, okay, no ab crunch really, but you got a waist swivel, uh, dual swivel hips, thigh swivel, the dual hinge knees, both here and here, and then the ball joint at the foot. And uh, if you, you're having trouble getting these around, you can get some really cool poses uh, with the way the wheel wells work. So you can have them walking in 
like I said, they're, they're surprisingly stable. You can move this all around and get some really interesting action poses uh, with the legs in some unconventional positions. One of my favorite things, one of the first things I was when I was messing with it and transforming it is that I really like the idea of uh, one of these guys like charging in and then like flipping his feet up like this and then kind of rat trapping his way in, like scooting around and like swerving down and shooting some bad guys. Like there's a lot of really neat posability in these guys. So yeah, you got that. And then you also have things like the saw weapon. And this is why there's two pegs because if you have them like, you can put this one in the top peg on this hand and then dual wield it. You can grab it with his other hand and then this, this peg would go in the lower peg on this hand. So you can dual wield, not dual wield, but uh, two hand some of the larger weapons. Uh, the uh, Spectre Rogue's spinny saw blade has it. Um, and then this saw blade has it. And I think some of the other ones may have there may be some other special weapons in the weapons pack that are that are dual handed uh weapons but i'm not 100 percent on that so yeah he's got his rifle the, the two rifles and then now the uh comparison so here is burley and i ride the, the the two configurations here he's got the smaller pistols in his hand uh just so you see those um and there they are with their what I consider their face-plated mech heads. Burley has the cigar-smoking head, the skull faceplate. I ride has the visored head. Um, actually, I'll just pop that off to show you. He's got the standard visor head here on the black with the uh, kind of grid faceplate. I want to get the one that has the single eye, the, the cyclopic one. But you can see different chest plates. He's got two vents. He's got the two cir riveted circles. Although you can swap them, I could have him with a vent and a circle, and him with a circle and a vent. If I wanted to, they both come with two of each. So, I mean, I could mix and match however I wanted. I could have them both with both circles. I could have them both with both events. Um, it really depends on how you want them to be done. I don't know why these are flipped out. They do also have, and let me see this up. So Burley, they have similar faces. Burley has two individual eyes, and then a crack down his, uh, his face headpiece. Uh, whereas I ride has the visor. Um, See, so and, and you, there's just this one single screw on the back to swap them out. And those are your basic options with uh, the main. Every, every single version comes with at least these two configurations and all the mix and matching you can think of with this. But then. Uh, and then all the store exclusive ones come with at least extra heads for the for the smaller rider, and the uh, and then the two heads for the mech. Um, I don't know if they come like, if any of them come with specific weapons or not or different uh, chest grill pieces. I know there is a pack that has more than just these two configurations because and you're going to see them on some of the other ones here. So here are the two main ones, guys. Let's move them out to the side here. Here are the Specter Rogues. And again, he's got the dual wield saw thingy, although the same thing you can do with this or his, this gun also has the dual handles. Um, I like to have it held up at the, you can have him hold the front thing, although you do need to move this armor piece out of the way for it to really sit properly. But I like to have him hold this gun from this handle. It just makes, makes it a little shorter, but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Um, I don't know why I grabbed that. <laughs> but yeah, so there's his spinny saw weapon. He also has the uh, the larger axe that you can see. You can see the shotguns. You have to rotate them as you transform them, but the shotgun can still store back here. Um, he's got the kind of insecticon grill with the glass helmet. I may unscrew this and paint his eyes in just to give him a little bit more definition. Although, looking at it under here on the lights, the only real issue I have with this is, like, I wish the wheels were the same gray as all the weapons, like, to really kind of go with that ghostly spectery thing. Um, although he probably would look good with a standard prospect in there, uh, the darker colors with the black. I know the uh, Atomo looks okay with a, a standard gray and black uh, rider in there. But all the same articulation otherwise. Uh, and then he also comes with... Uh, and this is one of the other heads you can get with one of the other ones without the uh, without the uh, Spectre Rogues paint on it. It just has the two solid eyes. That's one of the uh, 
in the, in the uh, standard orange and green and black colors. But uh, he's got a little double-eyed faceplate with uh, some face paint on it if you want. I'd rather have that head. Personally, I think this one looks cooler. And then, of course, Otomo here. Again, same thing. There he is. He's got his weapons stored back here, and he's got the large sword. Um, and he basically has the same faceplate as Burly, but without the uh, skull tampo on it. It's just the, the plain black faceplate. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to the purple one. Like I said, when the purple one gets here, I will do, uh, I'll have Otomo all stickered up and, and looking cool as well. But really nice set of figures. Um, super poseable, and they're a lot of fun. Um, I do, like I said, let me just let me put move Burley over here just to show off the main three color schemes that are out uh, right now. They're all great. Um, I'm going to end up having five of these things all said and done. Uh, and maybe even a couple more if I end up wanting to get some of the different uh, faces, have a couple extra characters up here. But the base figure is a lot of fun. I don't, need, I don't think you need to have multiple versions of it. Unless you're one of the first people who likes to troop build, there are people who do that. And I like that if you choose to do so, you've got a lot of options, even with just the base model, uh, and to, to differentiate them, even if you have like a huge collection of them. I don't, I don't let you need all five or six versions that may eventually come out of this. I'm going, I'm going to, but you know, that's me. Um, but I do think if any one of these singly appeals to you, it's worth picking one of these up in whatever configuration you prefer because the toy itself is amazingly fun. I love the motorcycle mode. I love the little riders. Um, the main robots, the, the, the plastic quality is good. I don't have any like uh, issues with how they feel. The joints are all tight. They're super poseable. I think you can have, like I've had a lot of fun just playing with it. And, and even when I originally got the, this one to do the video manual for, I just, even when I was done with that, even once I'd gotten the manual done, I still hauled him back and forth to work with me every day just to play with him. And that's something that I don't, not, not every figure I get does that. There's some neat figures out there that I like, that I buy, I play with, I figure out how it works. It's fun, but it's not a carry around and transform it every day. It's a, that's a cool piece and I put it on display. I'll bring it down every now and then to mess with it, but it's not a just constantly messing with it. This guy is a constantly messing with it type of figure. This guy is a lot of fun. I've had him sneaking around and just seeing how many crazy poses I can get out of him. The way those legs work is really cool. So, uh, so yeah, I don't mean to be super effusive here, but uh, I'm really digging these guys. I think uh, I'm, I was glad to see a transforming robot Kickstarter succeed, and it to and and I know there was a bit of a wait for uh, oh, his heels messed up. Um, There's a bit of a wait for these guys that came out a little later than they were initially expecting, but um, total and then they did change the size. Originally, they were going to be a little smaller than this. The original prototype I saw only came to about here. And they scaled them up because while as cool as the riders are, they scaled them up so these fit very well. I don't have any Joes with me, but that 3.7 inch, so 7.5, 3 and 3 quarter inch GI Joe scale figures fit these motorcycles. So if you want to have, you know, turn one of these guys into a motorcycle, throw a GI Joe on it, they work. Or any other decently articulated 3 and 3 quarter inch scale figure. Um, I don't know that Star Wars figures would really work well I, maybe there's some that are articulate enough but um but yeah so they took some time to scale them up um and i think that like they, they really succeeded it's a high quality product it's a lot of fun uh i know they've got the uh some japanese bikes in design and then cassie was just showing off the regulators which look to be like a different kind of motorcycle even still that uh i'm looking forward to seeing how those turn out but uh pick one of these up whether whether it's the, the the standard flavor, the Otomo, he's going to be at a couple of conventions I know this year. He was exclusive, um, so he's going to be a little harder to track down, but he is available. Or a Spectre Rogue, I think those are also available at most online retailers. But if you like transforming toys, I 
I feel like you do kind of owe it to yourself to check one of these guys out. At the very least, find somebody who has one and say, hey, can I play with that? I think it'll, I think it will grow on, even if you weren't initially, hey, that's something I want. I think it'll grow on you. They're a lot of fun. But anyway, there is the standard uh, Unrustable Bastard, the Special Edition Otomo, and the rival gang, the Spectre Rogues here. Um, like I said, check them out. It, it, this has really been a success, I think, all around.